This lesson is going to have, have us delving into multi-syllable words. Yay! We're going to read and spell multi-syllable words. Um, and again, my reminder, if you're watching this video and you haven't done the ones previously, head all the way back to the beginning and do them in order because they build on each other. Otherwise, welcome back. Get your marker and your board because we are going to do some great work today. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at multi-syllable words. A syllable is really just a mouthful of sounds like, my name is Nora. Nor, uh, it's two pieces. Or my last name is Shabazi. Shabazi. There's three pieces or three syllables or three mouthfuls of sounds. I use my um, Pac-Man hand because we open our mouth for each syllable because each syllable has a vowel and it gives us volume, which we open our mouth for. Okay. I want you to think about it like a pizza. Um, a word is like a pizza, like um, physician. Physician. Um, the whole word is the pizza. The pieces are each syllable. Fa is a piece of pizza. Zi shun. No matter how hungry we are, it's very unwieldy and difficult to pick up a whole pizza and try to eat it. Even if we could eat a whole pizza, first we put it into manageable pieces, like a piece of pizza, and then we have the bites. So the pizza is the word, the, the pieces are the syllables, and then the sounds that we're going to do are the bites. So when we do our multi-syllable, we're going to do a line or a placeholder for each syllable or mouthful of sounds. Then we're going to do the smaller lines on top for each sound just in that syllable. Okay. Our brain has, on average, about five seconds of stuff that we can hold in memory. If we're doing a great big long word, it typically has a lot more than five sounds. We can't hold that in our memory, but we can hold each of those pieces in our memory. So this strategy that we're going to use for this first activity is one we're going to move all the way through with everything that we do. Okay. It's some, one you use your whole life. It's something that I use all the time. Okay. The, this strategy of dealing with one piece at a time, both for reading and for spelling. But we're going to interchange the spelling and the reading. We're going to first put, the, put it down to spell or encode it and then pick it up to decode it. So it's interchangeable there. All right. So the first word we're going to do is measurement. So the act of measuring the snow. Hopefully, we know it's not my favorite season, winter. So I like to have a measurement of not very much snow. But so measuring something, measuring the flour when you're going to bake a cake. Okay. So what we're going to do with measurement is we're going to put again nothing on your board until and follow exactly what I do here. Okay. So what's our first syllable or mouthful of sounds in measurement? What am I saying right here? This one is meh. So do a little bit of a longer line and say meh over toward the left side of your board. Okay. What's the next piece right here in measurement? Measure. Draw a line and say zhur. Got it? What's the next piece over here in measurement? Meant. Draw a line and say meant. Okay. Beautiful. Now here we're going to put lines down for the sounds in meh. What are our sounds in meh? M, a. Did you say those sounds? Remember, say those sounds when you write the letters or, and also say those sounds when you're writing our lines. We're also going to say our syllables when we write our big lines. Say, say, say. That seems to be the, the message here, right? Meh. What's our next piece here? Meh. Zhur. What are our sounds in zhur? What's the first sound? Zh. That's a weird word, sound, isn't it? Zh. What's the next sound in zhur? Er. Beautiful. So measure. Then we have meant. Say our sounds as we put our lines down for meant. Let's hear you. M. A, n, t. Did you say all of those? If not, go back and say those. M, a, n, t. You can even copycat me after I say you say. Okay. The key is having it come out of your mouth, going into your brain. Okay. So now we have our placeholders for our syllables and sounds for measurement. I'm going to write the word. You don't need to write it. Okay. I'm going to write it up here, and then we're going to match our spellings. I'm saying my sounds in my head, by the way, but not out loud because I don't want you to hear me just yet. Okay. All right. So on our first line, our first syllable is meh. Let's say what's our first sound in meh. That's that m. Mm. Say as you write it. Mmm. What's the next sound in meh? This is eh. Look at our word and tell me how many letters do you think are going to spell eh? We did that sort last time, right? Where that can be e, a, or eh. Write those two letters here and say eh. Say eh as you do it. So now after we have all of our spellings on a line, we're going to do what we call blend that syllable together. So mm, eh, we have meh, meh. Now we're going to forget about it, okay? While we deal with zhur. We're only going to deal with one syllable at a time because it's not going to bypass or, or max out our, um, 
our working memory, that five seconds of working memory. Now we have zhur. What's the first sound in zhur? That funky zh, right? Look at, we've got meh. How many letters do you think are gonna spell zh looking at our word? Okay, you might've said one, you might've said two. Here is our zh, how many? One, right? So this is an unusual one. Be sure you say zh as you write that, zh. Vision has that as a zh, well actually it's a two letter zh, but that's a sound that we'll hear in a lot of longer words actually. Zh, what's the next sound here? Zhr. That's er. Look at our word. How many letters do you think spell er? Right? Now, if you think of meant, we know the first sound in meant is m. Mm. So even without me teaching this, because your brain is so brilliant, you're looking at this, you're like, oh, all three of these are er without me even having taught you, right? Your brain's taken over in that self-teaching. So it is three letters. Write all of those, please, sir, and say er. Z er. What's this piece? Blend it together. Zhr. Now we're going to add, thread these two pieces. We're going to add it to our me, me, zhr. And everything I'm saying needs to come out of your mouth too, okay? If I'm moving too fast, remember you can always pause the video, catch up, and then turn it back on, okay? Me, zhr, now ment. Ment is pretty straightforward, isn't it? We're going to say our sounds as we write ment. Let's hear you. M, a, n, t. And what's this piece? Meant. Now let's put it all together. Measurement. Now, if we say the sounds as we write, it's we're not going to leave any sound spellings out. So we might have a different spelling than it actually is, but we won't be mixing up our letters or leaving anything out because our hand is writing only as we're writing as we're saying the sound we're writing. Okay. So that's why you say stop. Say stop. It's really critical. We want to get in the habit of doing that. Okay, and then pretty soon we'll just be doing it with longer, bigger words. But at first we want you to do it with all words, all right? So now, as we look at this, there's a lot of things in this word that we know, but there's some things that are a little unusual or new information for us. So what I want you to do here, this S spelling, we are new at learning that, circle that eh. That tells your brain, hey brain, pay attention to this because we need to remember this, okay? That's your eh. Now because there's two letters that spell that eh, you're gonna put one, two lines under it. Okay, so the circle to call your brain's attention to it. We know this, mm, right? We're, we got that one. But this eh is a little bit unusual. So we circle it to call the attention and then put the same number of lines as letters in the spelling. I want you also to circle this zh, because we're used to that as s, like in sit, right? Or maybe z in is, but zh is not real common. Put one line under it. So the circle calls our attention to it, one line under it. You got it? Yours should look like mine. This er is also not real common, so circle that guy. There's three letters that spell er, one, two, three lines, okay? M, a, n, t, that's pretty straightforward, right? So this is what I want you to do. Grab your eraser, so watch me first so that you know what we're gonna do. We are gonna leave our lines and our circles as kind of a brain helper, but we're gonna erase every single letter. So I want, I want you to erase every letter Leave your lines and circles. If you happen to accidentally erase some, you can look up here and redo that. I'm gonna erase these letters up here too, or the word, okay? I want you to erase every single letter. So what you have left is what we call our speleton. It's a little grid that's gonna help us to remember to say as we write, and it's just a little bit more explicit, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say as you write measurement, Back on these lines, okay? Every single sound as you go, and then I'm gonna write it up here so that you can check it, all right? I'm not gonna write. I want you to pull from your, your um, recall as far as what those spellings were. If you're not exactly sure, don't fret. Just write what you think, and I'll show you. Say the sounds as you write measurement. M, a, z, er. You, be saying those so you, you should be saying those sounds out of your mouth. Now, meant. Say those sounds in meant. M, a, n, t, meant measurement. Have you got it? Now, if you're taking too much more than one sound per second, you're overthinking. And when you overthink, oftentimes you're going to mix the stuff up in your head. The faster that you say as you write, the faster that you say the sounds, the better it's going to be for you. Okay? Now, I'm going to say as I write it up here, and I want you to check yours. If there's anything different on yours than I have on mine, I want you to change what you have and change it to mine. Put a little smiley face under it. I'll show you in a second what I mean. Meh. M. Mm, eh. If you had a different S spelling, all right, if you just had one letter or something, let's say you had this. 
as you put it back together. I want you to erase that. I don't want you to just add to it. And then I want you to write this and say, eh. If you had already had this, you're not going to do anything. Then a little smile just tells, gives you a little extra. Oh, yeah, that's one I really need to remember. Meh. Here's your z, er, m, a, n, t. Measurement. Does yours look like mine? Have you got it? Now, especially if you have any smiley faces, look at everything that you have circled. If you have any smiley faces of anything you needed to ch change, take a peek at those, okay, to help kind of cement it in your brain. Then what I want you to do is I want you to erase your whole board. Lines, circles, everything. I'm going to leave my skeleton up here so that you can refer to it if you need to. But otherwise, I want your bla board to be blank, completely erased, okay, everything gone. Now what you're going to do, remember how I had measurement up here, all smushed together with no lines, no circles, um, none of that kind of stuff, okay, no smiley faces, all smushed together like you'd see it in a book or you would write it in a story that you're writing. Say the sounds as you write measurement. Go, go for it all together. We'll check it when you're done. Don't fret. M, a, z, er, m, a, n, t. That key is we want to have some challenge. Okay, and we want to pull and recall those spellings from our brain that go with the sounds we're saying out of our mouth, okay, as we write them. All right, you should be done with that word. And I will write it so you can check it. M, a, z, er, m, a, n, t. Measurement. Now, if you have any spellings that are different than mine, let's say here you just put this er. I want you to erase that. Let's say we erased it here and put that there. And I want you to write all three of these and put a smiley face. If you had anything that you needed to fix or change, I want you to erase the whole thing and say as you write it one more time. Not copy mine up here. I'll, I'll cover it up. Say as you write it because I want the last thing in your brain to be the correct spelling. Okay? Say those sounds as you write measurement. All right, got it? Go for it. Beautiful. Then you can erase. If you need to pause the video while you're doing that, if you needed to, you can do that. We're going to erase our whole board and we're going to do another word. Now, the words that I'm choosing are words that have, you know, a bit of a challenge to them. I'm hoping there's some things in there you don't know how to spell because I don't want to waste your time, okay? I want to give you things that cause a bit of challenge because that helps accelerate learning and that you will have some things that are incorrect so that then we can fix them, okay? Our next word is appearance, okay? So um, you made an appearance at the party, right? You got there. Or what is, you know, your appearance is very put together, kind of what you're wearing. Or there's so many different meanings for a lot of words, isn't there? I think of uh, uh, Detroit... Um, many of the buildings in Detroit had the appearance of being occupied, meaning that there were businesses or whatever in there, when the Super Bowl came. So what happened is they were actually empty buildings and they put curtains and window dressings on them to make them look, with all the people that were coming there for the Super Bowl, as if they were occupied. Okay, so the, it had the appearance, uh, these buildings had the appearance that they were occupied. So appearance means a lot of different things, depending on how we're using it. So we're going to do the same thing here, our syllable lines first, then our sound lines. All right, are you ready? What are our syllables in appearance? Let's say those syllables. Appearance. Got it? Appearance. Our first syllable is just a. Uh. Draw that line and say a. Uh. Got it? Now peer. What are our sounds in peer? Now, if you said ear here, what's our next sound in peer? Ear is two sounds. What's the first sound in ear? That's that e. P, e, er, p, e, er. Say those again if you need to. A, peer, ents. What are the sounds in ents? A, n, s. Okay? A, peer, ents. Have you got it? Our syllable and sound placeholders. Here is the word. You do not need to write it up here. You'll be writing it in a minute. Look at that word. Good word, right? So what's our first sound in appearance? That is uh. Here's a one letter spelling. Write it and say uh. Uh. Now this one, my name has this spelling for uh at the end, nor uh. It's at, oftentimes the spelling for uh at the end of a word like camera, okay, trauma. Or at the beginning of a word, around, about, above, alive. So when it's by itself in the first syllable, not always, because nothing in English is always, but a lot of times it's the spelling for uh. 
Okay. Peer. What's our first sound in peer? That's a p. How many letters do you think are going to go on that line for p? Right? Check out our word and our spelling. Yep. Both of those together. Now we're not going to, because we don't say a p p ear. We don't say p twice. So they both go on one line and say p. Okay. P. Got it? What's the next sound in peer? This is that e. How many letters? Yeah, we saw that E spelling, didn't we? Write them and say E, two letters. P e, what's the next item? Peer. Ear, what's this part? Peer. So let's put it with our uh. Uh, peer. Good job. And again, if I'm going too fast, just pause, rewind a little bit, and you can take your time and then start it back up. Okay, that's the beauty of video, right? Uh, peer, be sure you're saying those sounds though. Ents, what, as I write too, okay? Ents, what's our first sound in ents? Eh, check it out. Look at this spelling. Say eh as I write it. Eh. I think of the word catch for is that the spelling for eh. Eh, n. Mm. What's our next sound in ents? That's that s. Here's our two letter spelling for s. So write both of those and say s. You'll see lots of words where that's at the end. Eh, ents. What do we have there? Ents. So let's put it all together. Appearance. Appearance. Okay. You are making an appearance to watch this video, right? Kind of. I can't see you, but I know you're there. All right. So now we're going to circle what we need is a little unusual. There's kind of a lot of unusual in this word, isn't there? Let's circle this uh, because I'm not sure if, that, if that's familiar to you, but probably not. Circle that uh spell and let's circle this two letter p. In English, most of the time, and, and we'll say some words where it's not, but almost all the time, two consonants, letters that are the same, are almost always one sound, okay? So that's going to be a two-letter p. Let's circle that e spelling and put two lines under that one so we remember that. And then this a eh is unusual. So here this is a uh, and here it's a. Eh. Isn't that wild? English is so amazing. It really is. It's so interesting, especially once you understand how it works. And then let's circle this. That one's going to become pretty familiar to you because it's in a lot of words, but we oftentimes have not thought about it that way. So appearance. We have a lot of things to remember. All right. So look at those things that are circled. Let's erase our letters and leave our lines and our circles. Erase those letters. You shouldn't have the whole word on your board. Once you erase your letters, all letters should be off your whole entire board. Okay. All letters. All right. Erase those letters. Okay. When they're all gone, we should have erased quickly. You're hanging out there. Say those sounds as if we can hear them across the video. Say as you write appearance. You've got your little brain helpers here telling you how many letters. Say those sounds. A, uh, p, e, r, e, n, s. Got it? As that hand is writing, that mouth is saying. I'm going to write it up here so you can check yours. A, uh, p, e, r, appear, a, eh, n, s, appearance. If you have anything that's different than mine, erase what you had, write the, ex we call it the acceptable spelling. You probably had a logical spelling if you had one letter for p or a different e spelling. Erase what you had, write that acceptable spelling, put a smiley face under it so you remember. Got it? All right. We are going to erase the whole thing. You're going to say as you write, appearance all smushed together, no lines, no circles, no spaces between. Okay? Ready? Erase. If you trust that mouth and say those sounds, if you don't get it completely correct, you will get very, very close. Say as you write appearance. A, p, e, r, e, n, s. Hopefully you're writing those letters right as you're saying them. Not before, not after. Sound like a broken record, don't I? Okay. All smushed together. Here's what it looks like. A, p, e, r, E, N, S, appearance. Check yours. Does it look like mine? If not, change what you need to change. Put a little smiley, erase, pause the video, say as you write it one more time. Got it? All right. Beautiful. Okay. Be sure, again, share this video with anyone you think might be interested. Um, so that they can learn what you are learning. If you haven't liked it, like the video. I think you've probably subscribed so that you get our, our new lessons when they come out. And our um, resource that's underneath that you can access in that um, website link there uh, for today's lesson is kind of a treat. Um, it's something that's been really popular as far as Ebly all over the 
the world, as a matter of fact, someone from Scotland, his name is Darius, um, did an interview, a podcast interview of me. And um, he wanted to know about this different way to teach reading that not a lot of people were familiar with. And so we had a really wonderful, pretty much conversation, but it'll give you a lot of insight and background into what we're doing and why we're doing it and how we're doing it and also he was so his mind was so blown he's an adult of course and he's like oh my gosh what you're telling me is just crazy i've never thought of this or knew this before and he had been a teacher and so in the middle he's like will you show me some of this so we actually did some ebley lesson right in the middle of that so go there check out that link and um and watch that video i think you're going to like it and i will see you next time thanks